choosing the right path in the life science research career. Which one is better? Is it academic research or biotech or pharma research, the industry research? So there are fine line between these two environments. However, you need to understand how these two different world works and how dependent these two different research world on each other. Or if you are fit into one of these or in both of them. So to understand that, I categorize this video in five different sections to understand the five different topics that will help you to choose the right environment. Hi, this is Golam Esbaudin and I'm a pharmacologist and working in a drug development research organization. So I have been working in the academia for a long time. I did my master's, PhD and postdoc in a number of different countries, number of different institutes. And uh, then I moved to the research environment in the industry. So this is a totally different world. However, um, when I'm saying totally different world, there are fine lines and similarities between these two. So as I mentioned in the beginning, uh, to understand better, I categorize this video in five different sections and to understand actually where do you fit as a scientist. If you're passionate about science and if you are really thinking about uh, working in the drug development, you can either choose the academia or industry. So to understand, the first thing that we should ask about is the research spectrum or how in-depth uh, research happens in the academic versus industry. So the first point in the research spectrum to understand basically how um, the research question works. In the academic setting, it is more focused on the non-profit exploratory or knowledge expansion. So what it means is basically it not necessarily uh, directly linked to the drug development that is coming in five years, 10 years or next year. On the other hand, the industry setup is more focused on the goal oriented and teamwork. And also, in other words, it's on the drug development concept because it's more profit focused, profit and uh, non uh, organization, um, non profit organization funded focused. But in the industry, drug development industry, you can work uh, in a different team. Uh, you can work independently or teamwork or you can work with multiple different sectors, for example, regulatory, quality control, R&D, uh, business development, all those things. And on the other hand, in the academia, you may be working in a solely focused on the research uh, focus. I'll talk about the different hats in the next topic, the next uh, category. However, in the research spectrum, in the academia, it is more focused on the like a broader knowledge expansion purpose. Uh, you can explore a particular question. Uh, there is no limit to explore and go to the rabbit hole, asking tons of questions, explore tons of experiments and all these things. However, um, in comparison to the academic uh, question, academic research question platform in the industry, you have more limited access to that research questions. Uh, this is the reality, to be honest, like in the industry, they don't really go explore unnecessary that um, they don't need. I shouldn't say about unnecessary, but they don't need uh, to uh, develop their next drug development. So that is more goal oriented focused, like you have to work on a particular project. Um, you can work on multiple different projects, depending on how long you are working in the industry and all these things. So that's the first comparison. Uh, for uh, the research spectrum uh, concept. So that brings to the next category is the what basically fools the research. So obviously the funding situation is one point that I already sort of mentioned in the first category in the research spectrum that uh, depending on the funding, as you all know that in the academic research is more funded by the government funding on non-profit organization uh, versus industry is more focused on the profit uh, on the drug development and all these things so um, if you enjoy publishing papers um, getting rewarded with a lot of different awards um, teaching and all these things um, then academia is your right place to go on the other hand industry is more uh, focused on the drug development, as I mentioned, goal-oriented teamwork and all these things. So that's less publishing. There are still publish, publishing opportunities. However, it is very limited uh, to an uh, extent. 
and in the industry you will be more focused on the career growth uh, focused on the drug development uh, and then focused on the business development that kind of then sort of uh, different two uh, two different uh, fools uh, in terms of like fools of your motivation and all these things so talking about that research fuels um so that brings me to the next category is the scientist type so it really depends on the personality as i mentioned in the first the knowledge exploration uh and also the what fuels your motivation uh this is also important if you are interested more uh publishing papers or uh you are more interested in the teamwork presenting data um, leading teams and all these things and versus your publishing papers, teachings um, and all these parameters like mentorship. So these are two different worlds, definitely. So the scientist type is really the one that you have to decide. Look at yourself and think about like, are you the guy going to the lab and talking with the students, research associates, um, sitting for a mentorship program and all these things, um, giving a presentation, teaching and all these things, and also driving your research. On the other hand, there is a, obviously there is a timeline. However, in the academia, the timeline is like much is less strict than the industry timelines. Then you move to the industry, uh, you have more strict timeline. It's a teamwork. You have to um, work in multiple different teams uh, together, you have to work on the regulatory, you have to understand the quality control, documentation and all these things. So both places has all these overlapping things, but not to the level of each category. So for example, in the industry, um, if you go to the regulatory, it's very serious um, because it's the drug development. Maybe next year, um, within a year or two, they're uh, taking one drug to the FDA versus in the academia, you are not more concerned about that part yet. You are more concerned about exploring an idea. So this is kind of like a personal type. If you love more publishing papers, getting rewarded and all those things, this is more an academic environment versus more um, corporate research is the industry setup. All right. And the fourth category, I'm sure everyone's going to love this one. This is the uh, rewards and perks beyond the lab. So. Unfortunately, um, I, I have good and bad experiences in the academia. Um, the rewards and perks is like definitely not even comparable to the industry. This is the like like a single statement. However, um, it really depends on the work-life balance and all those things. So if you really need a work-life balance plus, um, plus the rewards and um accomplishments and all these things so it really your choice i will have a separate structured video for each sector rewards and parks and all these things but in general if you go to the academia if you are working in a core facility research institutes or Aston professor professor like academic line you have a teaching option you have a research option not much in the growth level however you can publish a lot of papers you can get rewarded in many different ways but um, maybe the real financial way or uh, parks way not that much rewarding or exciting versus in the industry uh, most of the time uh, the parks and rewards are much more not even compa comparable to the academia much more um, than the academia so so it, it's significantly different so there are two different worlds, obviously, the nature that you are. Um, they're more flexible timelining, um, laid back kind of environment in the academia versus um, in the industry is more time construct, uh, very corporate, uh, organized, um, goal focused and all these things. This can be uh, true for the academia as well. But, you know, like the working environment, uh, because of the nature of the environment uh, in the academia you will be working by yourself in so many different things in the industry you will have like a whole team working for one thing uh, and then solving that problem bringing that uh, bringing the solution to the market so and that gives you the perspective that most more most of the time i i hear that kind of like a frustration in the academia in terms of like oh perks and benefits and not that great and all those things but at the end of the day 
it really depends it's a, it's a mix and match like if you are working in a research environment maybe the rewards are not that great but you are publishing great um you are in a state or city that is not too busy um you have a very nice work life balance again if you are writing a grant uh you are in the academia my friend says that they work 24/7 for example right so th these are the different uh different um uh, sectors or factors that you have to think about but rewards and perks wise obviously industry has more corporate and like a, a financial focused uh, beneficial uh, benefits versus in the academia is more like a work piece or something like that uh in the industry you also get a work life balance but you have to be very structured and all those things so uh, there is less time for laid back situation and all this um so that would be my fourth category and the final category is basically the uh bridging the gap so uh you can still work with the industry when you were working in the academia or you can still work definitely can work with the academia when you were working in the industry so they both um will depend on each other in many different sector i will have another video of understanding the industry and academic research environment per se not the scientific perspective but the research environment perspective you will uh, but definitely when you were working in an industry there are particular sector that uh, expertise that you need maybe available in the academia uh, and then you need to collaborate with them for publishing and all these things you can still publish um and then uh, in vice versa you can continue working in the academia and collaborate with the industry to develop the drug development which will rarely happens in from the academia per se in my experience there are possibilities but yeah we will talk in uh, next couple of videos but yeah generally understanding it depends on the personality your choice your work life balance uh, two different environment obviously two different characteristics are there two different perks and benefits are there uh, so these are the main five different Uh, categories hope this kinds of uh, information helps you guys and then if you want to know more in depth about this uh, different categories obviously let me know in the comment on the, in the facebook or the other uh, social media platform that it is uh, linked with the youtube um and we'll uh, see I, i'll see you in the next video thank you very much